I play football for the money. Does that sound callous? I think it is a dissonant sound of honesty. But I do like and enjoy the game because you could not play it if you did not like it because it is too brutal, too demanding a game not to really care for it. Bernie Casey had the body of an athlete and the soul of an artist. He spent eight years as a receiver for the 49ers and Rams, and many more as a painter and actor. He had over six dozen screen credits, including Star Trek and Revenge of the Nerds. I shall always be an artist, but I know that I shall not always be a football player. Alex Hawkins was no Hollywood star, but earned a nickname right out of a superhero movie. It came from his willingness to do the dirty work. He was the first special teams captain in the NFL. Shula made him special teams captain. He goes out with Marchetti and Unitas. And the official says to the visiting team, says, this is Captain Unitas and Captain Marchetti and Captain Hawkins. And the other captain said, Captain who? Who was the AFL's all-time interceptions king? That would be Dave Grayson, a four-time first-team All-Pro at defensive back. His 47 picks will forever be the most in league history. Yale Larry was one of the best defensive backs of all time, a nine-time Pro Bowler, three-time NFL champion, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer. His teammate, linebacker Wayne Walker, spent 15 seasons in Detroit before becoming a sports television personality in the Bay Area. We're here in San Francisco to talk to Wayne Walker, who is a CBS sports director and an expert on the San Francisco 49ers. Wayne? John, thanks for the expert handle. Oh, we can get to you. <laughs> Waiting for some words. Words of wisdom. Start of a new era here in Cleveland. Today, no more loss in Cleveland. You got the fans, boy. Fear I tell the, you, they turn out. Fear of the dog pound again starts today. Michael Jackson terrified the defensive backs of the 90s and led the NFL in touchdown receptions in 1996. That was the rookie year for Terry Glenn, a Pro Bowl receiver who had the distinction of catching Tom Brady's first ever touchdown pass in 2001. The distinction of coaching the Broncos to their first ever Super Bowl belonged to Red Miller, a man who knew how to motivate. What the hell is going on out there? Jeez, Grimey. What the hell are you guys doing? They wonder if they believe we're for real now. Huh? Well, damn it, I guarantee you we're for real. Coach, All right, any questions? Long before Brady, Babe Perilli made the Patriots for real. An NFL cast-off, he rose to stardom in the AFL, leading the Patriots to a title game in 1963. Eventually, he won a Super Bowl as Joe Namath's backup with the Jets. Teammate Larry Grantham was an original Jet, drafted when they were the lowly New York Titans. Grantham and Gang Green grew up together, and he was named to the AFL's all-time team. He leapt off the Orange Bowl field after Super Bowl III, an indelible image of victory. Another New York star, Y.A. Tittle, gave us an iconic image of defeat. Tittle was a Hall of Fame quarterback with a steely-eyed stare and a signature play. This has got to be the alley-oop. There is no time for anything else. Tittle throws. He's going downfield near the goal line. He goes up. He's got it! Traded from San Francisco to New York, Tittle led the Giants to three straight title games. He never won the big one. And while his body eventually gave in, his will to compete never did. Probably a year or two ago, he came into Giants Stadium uh, where he was honored. Uh, I said, why don't you come back and be Eli's backup? He looked at me and said, Eli can be my backup. <laughs> you know that? In the image of a bloodied tittle in his final season, people saw age, defeat, mortality. He saw it differently. It sort of, to me, represents what football is about. I mean, not the injuries so much, but down on your knees and getting up. Hall of Famer Cortez Kennedy specialized in knocking guys down. Oh, 
will miss Kennedy, the consummate defensive tackle. And will miss Tommy Novus, the consummate Falcon. The first draft pick in franchise history was one of the finest. Okay, you're real fine. Hey, last time I looked at the scoreboard, we're leading. We'll miss Ron Meyer and the way he cared for his players. Great call there, Timmy. And uh, I'm serious, buddy. That's a great job. Great job. You deserve that. You worked hard all week. And oh my, how we'll miss spending Sundays with Dick Enberg, who gave his voice to some of the game's most memorable moments. We'll miss Dan Rooney for everything he gave to the game and the class with which he gave it. His stewardship of the Steelers kept them one of the NFL's flagship franchises, and he led the effort to ensure minority coaches and executives have chances for jobs around the league. So respected was Rooney that President Obama named him the United States Ambassador to Ireland. We'll miss all who we lost in 2017, but as long as we remember them, they're never really gone.